on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Isuku? Uncle's Izzy? <laughs> hey, uh, Katsuki. Uh, Mitsuki. I, I thought you... I told... Yeah. As you can see, my, uh, death was greatly exaggerated. Can I come in? The, but Masaru said... What, what's wrong? We need to talk. And I would prefer if the young one wasn't listening. Huh. So won't you uh, go ahead and uh, go to your room, huh, son? Okay, Uncle Izzy. Wait, why did you... Hmm. Uh, wait, does he... Does he know? <clears throat> so, um... What is it that you wanted to talk about? Sorrow and the others set me up. What? Yeah. But Masaru said... Yeah, Masaru said a lot. I can... <laughs> I believe that, no doubt. So, I'm back, and I want payback. Uh, why would he money? Apparently, the guys didn't care about my generosity. They got greedy, which led to my unexpected fall from grace. But, uh... Uh, don't worry about it. Not your fault. <sighs> I remember the first day we met. I was just starting out and the guys wanted me to grow up in a way. <sighs> How long ago was that? Uh, a while. Add in nine months. What? I know that Kaski's my kid. What are you talking about? He's my and my sorrows. I couldn't tell before. How could I? With the way you dye his hair to match yours. To hide the green tent. <coughs> I. Uh, <coughs> how. Well. When I came back, I. Turns out I do have a quirk. Several. Combined, you could say. And. Uh, they helped me notice things. I could smell the hair dye. And, yeah, I could see his roots. He has green hair. A little bit blonde, but, oh, but green too. Um, huh, so does Masaru know? Mm, no. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Are you planning on killing him? Yes. All of them. But, um, you never had to kill one of my own. No, I have. That's because they were trying to ruin everything. 
Sorrow was there. He's one of the people who shot into me. Though he wasn't the one that made sure the kill shot. Whew, let's just say I am happy to be walking right now. Wait, he he shot me in my knee. <laughs> oh, that asshole. That's all I've done for him. Hmm. So, what now? Well, I want to be in Kasky's life. But people learn that you're his, that I'm his dad, I don't care. But considering how young you were when we... Yeah, I know. And like I said, I don't care what people think. He's my boy. And you... <sighs> so, um, when you plan on doing it, what? Killing him? <sighs> Depends how much I want him to suffer. What about you? What do you mean? You want him to suffer too, don't you? I, uh... I understand if you don't want him to. But... He's gonna die regardless. How he dies, how he spends his last moments. I'll let you decide. So, I'll come back later. You call me whenever you're ready. Alright, here. What's this? My new phone number. Can't have them uh, suspecting that I'm back so soon. I'm gonna spook him a little bit. <laughs> you haven't changed. Still a little childish. Yeah. But isn't that what you loved about having me around? But what about Kotsky? He still needs a father in his life. I I will be in his life, Miski. You're not stopping me from doing that. Seriously, you're too nice. Yeah, we'll need to fix that. That's what got me killed. Being too nice, too trusting. But no need to worry about it. Not anymore. Izuku leaving, but not before giving Kaski a hug and Miski a kiss on the cheek. Kaski, being a little kid, is like, ew. But, oh, oh yeah. Kaski, do me a favor. Don't tell Masaru about me being here. Let's keep it a secret between us. Pinky promise. Okay. Good. See you later, kid. <laughs> yeah. As Izuku, he goes home. Inko wondering, okay, what's going on? Do you want to know? Yes. Kaski's my kid. What? But, wait, Kasi is yours, but that would mean you, Miski, yeah, but you were, yeah, I was 
pretty young, all things considered. Mom, before you blow a gasket, I chose that. I chose to do it. No one forced me. I decided on my own to do it. I didn't have to. I chose to. Okay? So, please don't lose your mind. I... On one hand, I am pissed at Miski for keeping this a secret. For what she and you, yeah, I, I get that. I have a grandkid already. I'm a grandma. Yeah. Oh man, what about Hasashi? How is he gonna? What? Oh yeah, he comes over to check on me. How often? At least once, twice a week. Damn it, why didn't you tell me that before? I uh, I can't really live here now, well, can I? Fuck, 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 I... I'm gonna have to relocate somewhere else. Until... I won't save him for the last. Him, definitely. Either way. See you later, Ma. Love ya. Wait, please don't. I have to. If he catches wind of me being here ahead of my schedule, that will ruin everything. He'll alert everybody and I can end up dead. Again. I. And you can't tell him anything about me being here. But there are cameras. Like, oh, alright, took care of those. Then where are you going to go? I will worry about where I'm staying. Where I lay my head, I'll figure out something. Trust me. I got a plan. Azugu, he heads back to the maker's place, and which... So, so how was the journey topside? Very informational. Very informational. Well, it turns out I have a kid. But really? How old are you? Uh, what? Uh, I know you may do things differently up there now, but honestly, hey. Let's, let's not make a big deal about this. You, you are a child. Yeah, up until that night. So this kid is yours. Yes. What are you gonna do? Raise him after I kill his, his uh, acting parent. So you're gonna rob the lad of a father. And giving him a real father. Who doesn't stab his friends in the back. For you know he had a better reason. No. No. They all had one reason. They want more. They want more power. More money. And killing me was a way to ensure it. So. I am going to show them the price of what they've done. Every single one of them. And I'm going to enjoy it so much. But are you sure about this? On the path of vengeance, dig two graves. Trust me, brother, I'm gonna need a lot more than two graves. <sighs> Very well. Now, what is it that brings you here? Upgrade. See if you can do something for me. Hmm. Well, I can't upgrade them much more than they already are. What? 
I need other materials to make them better. <sighs> okay, but how can you really make them better? Hmm. Already decreased the amount of energy consumption they they deal you, but I could also increase their strength output. Really? Yes, but I am going to need some items. Yeah. Hey, tell me I'll go topside and get the stuff we need. And no, no. You're going to have to collect everything down here. Uh, what? Yes. As a month goes by of Izuku collecting, killing. It's like, okay, this is so great, better be worth it. I expect these guns to have a kick, man. And a kick they shall have. Give me some time. As Izuku's phone goes off and he's, 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 he's yeah, I want him to suffer. Really? In fact, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm listening. Oh, oh, Miski, you clever, clever woman. Evil, and I love it. Well, I know someone who's just as evil. You flatter me, baby. You flatter me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. As soon as Izuku heads back, back up there, he sees... Alright. So what you need from me? I just need... You. I need you to spook him a little bit. Already done. Some slight, uh... Messages courtesy of me from beyond the grave. I even learn how to do my makeup to look more dead. Thanks to mom. And uh, so, what else do you need? We'll need your DNA sample. How are you plan on not like that, perv? I just need some of your spit. Okay. Hey. Okay. Here, just put it in the, just use a swab. And now we wait. Another week goes by. And so he's freaking out. He's looking and down was like something's not something's not right here, son. Okay. And as soon as he sees Koski, he notices the splashes of green starting to show. As he just freaks out and almost shoots Koski. Almost. We see him freaking out. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, I see Izuku. Everywhere. But he's dead. I know, but it seems like he's... Come back to haunt me? Why would he do that? I don't know. I mean, we we were good friends and everything. And I just, I, just, I, I, I make some sense. Well, here, just have a drink and just calm down. As soon as he does. Koski runs back to his room as per Whiskey's request. And uh, upon down that drink, he feels a little woozy. Like, what did you do to me? As soon as he wakes up, he sees that he's in the cell. Well, a, a, a mirror. That's weird. Then he sees this weird stack of papers. I'm thinking, oh wait, don't tell me this is some saw bull crap. Him flipping through it. It's like, <laughs> wait. Izuku Midoriya? 
Sasuke. Him realizing it's like he, he, he's not mine. And Zuku turns on the light as Masaru watches. Izuku goes balls deep in Miski while Izuku is staring directly at Masaru. I had to continue this. I couldn't leave it with a cliffhanger like I do other things. Because all things considered, I may be an asshole, but I'm an asshole with some certain standards. <laughs> yeah, but seriously. For another way if I do, I need, I have, I'm going to need to learn some new, a new language. But God, no. How long will it take someone to learn Klingon? <sighs> Fuck. That could take a while. Especially if I start my new job soon enough. Either way, yeah, this is going to be in the part three. <laughs> I am a real asshole, and I'm proud of it. And considering how many of you guys are actually watching me, yeah, you guys are enjoying it too. I feel bad for Canon Masaru, but not this asshole who I've created. And with that, goodbye. And see you next time.